Welcome to American Black Journal. I'm Stephen Henderson. My first guests are proponents of good fiscal health. That's F-I-S-C-A-L. They are involved in a new program from Citizens Bank that's designed to improve financial literacy among low-income residents, students, and entrepreneurs. The bank gave a total of $100,000 to five local nonprofits to provide the necessary tools and the training. Joining me now are Nadeda Letson from Citizens Bank, Belinda Turner Dubois from the Great Lakes Women's Business Council, and entrepreneur Chandra Haynes of SOE Development Inc. Welcome to American Black Journal. Thank you. Thanks for having us. Yeah, uh, I, I say all the time that that uh, smart sort of fiscal behavior in your household is is an opportunity issue, mm -hmm. uh, especially in cities like Detroit, where. Uh, the, the concentration of poverty and I think economic isolation are driven a lot of times by misunderstanding about yeah. what fiscal health really looks like and staying sort of in those fiscal good graces. Yeah, yeah. And that's why we've uh, launched Citizens Helping Citizens Manage Money. Mm -hmm. You know, we, um, you know, financial literacy is really about basic understanding of um, a range of financial topics, you know, whether it's how to balance a checkbook, um, purchasing a home, mm -hmm. saving for college, long-term planning. Um, extremely, extremely important because, quite frankly, money does not come with instructions. Right, <laughs> right? you get right? it, and so, you can just uh, do anything you want with Absolutely, it. absolutely. So, um, you know, becoming financial literate is really about taking control yeah. of your finances and helping yourself better position yourself to achieve your financial future, yeah. right? And so at Citizen Bank, we strongly, strongly believe that final, financial literacy is important because quite frankly, we live here too, right. you know? And so um, we're living in communities, we're working in communities, uh, so we're working with community organizations to better position and help our citizens achieve their financial goals. Yeah. Yeah. Um, we're working with nonprofit organizations promoting financial literacy um, and uh, to help our community members take control of their finances uh, and better position them to reach their financial dreams. Right, right. And this is not just an issue for individuals, it's also an issue for businesses. Oh, absolutely. Especially small businesses uh, who may have a great idea for a business but may not understand now all of the things that uh, you have to do to keep that business going. That's correct, that's correct. And, and so um, because of uh, what uh, Citizens has uh, helped us do, we are able to continue providing the uh, financial literacy, um, the technical assistance to uh, small, small business owners who have approached us for help. And we like to think that we meet our customers where they are. Mm -hmm. um, and, and so when, when there's a need, whether it's uh, starting a business and trying to figure out you know, the ins and outs, or an existing business that's looking to move up to the next stage, uh, that's where we can can help them and provide them with that technical assistance. Yeah. Uh, talk a little about uh, Detroit and the way these issues look differently in Detroit than they do in some other communities. Absolutely. Well, um, Detroiters, and, and I'm a Detroiter, mm -hmm. we, we have a lot of good ideas. And, you know, we, we have a lot of chutzpah, I'll mm -hmm. say. We've got that uh, entrepreneurial spirit. Oh, definitely. Right? We yeah. definitely have that entrepreneurial spirit. And, uh, but sometimes we just need to kind of sit back and, and, and listen and, and really figure out where we're going and how we're going to get there the best way. Yeah. And, and, again, that's why the, the technical assistance. We work um, a lot with our business owners, even after we've provided them loan funds. Our, our job is to help them grow that business. And certainly we want our money back. You know, that's important, too. <laughs> but we also want... Um, we want growth. We're looking for, uh, you know, job growth. Uh, we're looking to help that community get better by having that business that's growing and then hiring people from the community. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Chandra, tell me about SOE development. Well, I'm in the business of providing portable power. So in the form of batteries. Mm -hmm. So from like the smallest coin cell to the largest high-low battery, we provide power for different, you know, consumers and companies. Mm -hmm. um, so anything to keep you powered, basically, because right. everybody needs a battery. Right. And and what made you decide that this was what you wanted to do? Um, well, I was in sales for a number of years, and you know, the just the way the economy goes, I was downsized. Mm -hmm. And so I was talking with my husband, and he said, you know, this is the best time to start a business. So I booked out and started a business in energy. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And and talk about the, the sort of financial literacy that's required to be able to, again, not just start that business, but 
get it going and, and keep it going. There's a lot, because I don't think a lot of business owners, and such as myself too, didn't understand about the fact that, okay, yes, you, of course, you know your pricing and things like that, but you have to have, you know, your payroll, the taxes, you need to pay for inventory, you need to know what your margin is, mm -hmm. you need to have your outlook so that you'll know, you know, today you're doing this, but, you know, next year this is where you need to be in order to, you know, meet your goals. Yeah. So um, being financially literate is extremely important. I always say it's like that accident you don't want to see, but you kind of <laughs> still kind of peek to see what's going on <laughs> because it's important. You need to know your numbers because the more you know, you'll know if you're going to be out of business sooner than you know it's not a shock right you'll know what your numbers you'll know if you're in the red you'll know if you're in the black or where yeah. you need or when it's time to seek out that loan from an institution yeah yeah uh, talk about some of the nonprofits that you're awarding this money to to, to, to help uh, get people up Ab to speed absolutely so in southeast Michigan we award, made uh, five awards totaling a hundred thousand dollars so certainly to Great Lakes Women Business Council in support right. of the C lending program initiative um, also, Detroit Land Bank Authority mm -hmm. uh, to support the home buying um, counseling. You know, as the land bank is working mightily to um, help stabilize the Detroit housing market. Yeah. Uh, Southwest Economic Solutions prosperous um, entrepreneurial program, helping small business entrepreneurs better understand and get a hold of their own personal finances and acumen, as well as the support of their business up aspirations, sure. Wayne, Metro, um, Wayne Metro Community Action Agency uh, in support of the free income tax preparation mm -hmm. uh, services for uh, low and moderate, low income um, uh, Detroiters. And last but not least, uh, Junior Achievement of Southeast Michigan. Right. Uh, really, really helping our students learn about how to proactively manage their money. Yeah, yeah. So a real range there of, yeah. of different kind of work. Abs uh, absolutely. Issue. And so even across our 11 state footprint, um, this year we awarded $1.4 million to 80 organizations uh, to impact roughly about 260,000 individuals, families, and small businesses. We're going to leverage that up with um, our colleague volunteerism. About 400 colleagues are going to volunteer uh, to provide their financial acumen to help uh, our community members achieve, achieve their financial dreams. Uh, and last but not least, we are really about uh, access to quality and financial information. Yeah. So we launched the uh, Citizens Fundamental um, web portal on our website, um, and it's really about providing consumers with access to financial information topics like uh, savings, budgeting, protecting yourself against identity theft. Sure. Uh, so uh, anyone can basically go to our website, www.citizenbank.com, and just Google the uh, financial fundamentals uh, yeah. search. Yeah. Uh, we're talking about this really as an individual issue, but it really is a community issue, yeah. too. Uh, banks in particular mm -hmm. look at communities and the fiscal health within those communities Absolutely. when they make decisions about lending and, mm -hmm. and capital and things like that. So it's a big, it's a big investment. Yeah. Um, you know, I started uh, uh, the intro with, uh, we live here too. Right, right. And uh, we work here too, uh, which means a, mi a number of our colleagues, this is their home. Mm -hmm. uh, and so we are very much vested in the success uh, and uh, the ability of this community to thrive. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, talk about, uh, again, this, this idea in Detroit, how it, how it looks different uh, for us and, and the things that she's talking about there. You see that real range of issues that have come up uh, from individuals to institutions uh, across a number of different kinds of information. Well, um, I'll, I'll say and, and just um, talking about uh, Chandra and how we were able to to work with her. Uh, Chandra had, had been a business owner, obviously, um, and we were aware of a program with DTE and wanted her to get involved in that yeah. in that program. It was called Shark Tank, mm -hmm. and so we in invited her. Uh, absolutely, <laughs> we we invited her um, along with some other WBEs, Women Business Enterprises, and uh, we really helped her critique her pitch. Yeah. And, and helped her sharpen that. Um, she, she knew exactly what she wanted to do, right. but was just a little unsure of how to deliver that. Yeah. And, and that's where, where we come in yeah, because we... that little push. Absolutely, the line, absolutely. Right? Because we work with all of our business owners and of course we um, have good relationships with the, you know, folks like DTE and Henry Ford Hospital. So we, we know what they want to hear yeah. and, and how you need to deliver it. 
and and so that's how we were able to help her and get that contract. Well, congratulations on the program and continued success to you, Chandra. Yeah, absolutely.